Number 10, Deadly Koalas. Starting off the list today is the cute and adorable koala bear. While it's generally been accepted that koalas are super dangerous with their sharp claws and horrendous teeth, they also present another less expected danger. According to a 2006 report from the BBC, koala bears are running rampant with chlamydia. Yes, this sexually transmitted disease is currently plaguing Australia's koala bears. A professor of infectious diseases at the Burnett Institute in Melbourne claims that at least half the population of koalas are infected with this disease. And in closed populations, it's as many as 80%. It may be a different strain of chlamydia than what typically affects us humans, but it is still contagious. You can unwittingly contract the disease from a koala through its urine. So be sure not to do that. In koalas, the disease can cause blindness, infertility, and a deadly infection known as dirty tail. This is an infection that causes the urinary tract to become inflamed, which is super painful for the koalas. Plus, it does usually kill them. This is awful news, seeing as koalas are basically on the edge of extinction. In the early part of the 20th century, they were almost completely wiped out because of the fur trade. Then came the chlamydia and finally the recent forest fires. It's not looking good for these koala bears. For such an adorable animal, extinction from chlamydia would be a truly disturbing twist of fate. Number 9. Kangaroo Moving on to another famous Australian animal, the kangaroo is far more dangerous than you might think. In a recent story from Insider, it's been claimed that kangaroos are attacking tourists in Australia because they're horribly addicted to carrots, and it's actually becoming a serious problem. Obviously, most tourists in Australia definitely want to get a selfie with a kangaroo, and at the Morissette Hospital in New South Wales, kangaroos are in abundance. Here they have kangaroos that allow people to get super close to them to take selfies. But all the people giving the kangaroos human food have caused them to become more aggressive than usual. A driver of the tourist shuttle has come forward saying that tourists have been found feeding the kangaroos carrots, McDonald's, and even KFC. Because there are at least 2,000 tourists coming a week, these kangaroos receive a whole lot of goodies. But it's making them go crazy. One Polish tourist told Insider that she was attacked by a male kangaroo out of nowhere. The kangaroo jumped on her back and knocked her to the ground. And while she wasn't gravely injured, what if it had been a child? Kangaroos aren't overly dangerous, an attack from one probably wouldn't kill you, but you definitely don't want to be kicked in the face by a kangaroo, especially if you're a small person. So have you been close to a kangaroo in real life? Was it as crazy as these ones? I've only ever seen a kangaroo in a zoo, and it was asleep at the time. Let me know what your kangaroo experience was like. Post about it in the comments below. Then be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, so you can stay up to date with all the latest and greatest videos. Number 8. Chimpanzee our closest ancestor, the chimpanzee, is actually a bit of a lunatic. A recent story from Fox News is claiming that chimpanzees are attacking people in Uganda in record numbers. Apparently, the problem has been going on for many years, and there was a particular incident in 2014 when a chimp fatally attacked a small child, only two years old, after stealing the baby from its mother. And this wasn't even in a zoo. In an interview, the mother of the deceased child said that she was in her garden when the chimp ran out of nowhere, grabbed the child, and ran off with it. By the time the chimp was caught, it was too late. The chimp had already attacked the child to a point where it could not be saved. It's not completely clear why chimpanzees in Uganda are attacking young children. It could be because of habitat loss, or it could be because they feel threatened. Nobody really knows. But one thing is for certain, chimpanzees are basically uncontrollable primate humanoids with a lot of strength and a lot of speed. And if you live in Uganda, you don't want to leave your child out in the garden for the chimps to find. Number 7. Duck-Billed Platypus It's not highly likely that you'll meet a platypus while strolling through your local park, but nonetheless, these weird animals are extremely dangerous and people should know about them. The main reason for the danger is that the platypus are actually venomous. It's a bizarre creature already as an egg-laying mammalian, but add in the weird toxic spurs that the platypus has on its feet, and this is something that shouldn't really even exist. Why does the platypus even need venom? This is a pretty docile animal that has very few predators aside from snakes and foxes. It definitely doesn't need toxins for hunting. The only explanation that researchers can agree on is that males probably use their toxic feet during mating competitions. Basically, these weird little animals have evolved to have poisonous feet so they can kill other males in a fight to claim females. 
Now, how is that for a serious dating culture? Good lord. If you ever do run into a duck-billed platypus, don't worry. According to how stuff works, their venom probably can't kill you, but it's definitely gonna make you cry. Plus, you would have to go well out of your way to actually encounter one of these animals in the wild. Number 6. Panda Bear Out of all the bears in the world, the panda bear is definitely the cuddliest. They're also ridiculously huge, extremely fat, and more than a little bit lazy. But that doesn't mean the panda bear isn't a vicious wild animal. In a news story from 2016, a victim of a panda attack was left fighting for their life and in need of seven pints of blood. This happened after being attacked by a giant panda in the wild. It all started when a man from China set off with two of his colleagues in a nature reserve to monitor a female bear and her daughter. They were observing the bears when the mother suddenly attacked. She dragged the conservationist around the ground, attacking him with her razor-sharp teeth and leaving him with two broken wrists and part of his hand missing. And all the guy was trying to do was make sure the pandas were okay in the nature reserve, because the monitoring device attached to the young bear had not been functioning properly and they feared the baby could be dead. Considering there are less than 2,000 giant pandas left in the wild, you are highly unlikely to run into one. But the next time you see one at the zoo, just remember these bears look adorable, but can secretly be killing machines. Number 5. Dolphin This next one is almost too ridiculous to believe. By now, we've all heard of the stories of dolphins terrorizing the oceans, picking on other sea creatures for fun, and sometimes even pestering humans. But according to the BBC, dolphins trained to kill have recently been sold to Iran. But what exactly the dolphins are going to do for the military is an absolute mystery. So far as the story goes, the dolphins were trained by special Russian experts to attack warships and enemy soldiers in the water. But eventually the project ceased, probably because it was ridiculous, and most of the dolphins were moved to private aquariums to perform for tourists. However, some of them have been sent to Iran, basically as aquatic mercenaries. It's hard to know what to make of this story. The point is that dolphins are much more dangerous than they appear considering they can be turned into actual weapons. Whether these dolphins could really be used in war is a bit up for debate. And the whole premise of them being sold as weapons in the first place is absolutely nonsensical. But yeah, don't mess with a fleet of killer Iranian dolphins. Number 4. Giant Anteater the giant anteater is up there with some of the most docile animals in the world. It almost looks like a ground sloth with a really long nose. Not a single thing about the giant anteater looks threatening. But don't let its innocent appearance, kind eyes, and long nose fool you. Anteaters can absolutely be deadly. Sure, they can't see very well, they have horrible hearing, and they don't even have any teeth. But anteaters do have extremely sharp claws on both of their forelimbs. The biggest of the giant anteaters can grow to be around 7 feet long according to live science, and its claws are big enough to inflict fatal wounds on a human. There was even a supposed incident in which a hunter was left dead in northwestern Brazil after a confrontation with one of those long-nosed beasts. But hey, in this case the anteater was probably just defending itself. When the giant anteater is threatened, it'll stand on its back feet and show you its giant claws. This may look like the anteater is trying to hug you, but it's actually about to kill you. If you're ever in a situation where a giant anteater comes out of nowhere looking like it wants to hug your legs, you should probably run away. Number 3. Stingray This one might not even belong on the list. Ever since the 2006 incident with Steve Irwin, I think the whole world has been afraid of stingrays. But before the famous crocodile hunter was stung to death by one of these weird animals, most people never thought of them as very dangerous. It's not like they can swim up and bite you, they are extremely docile, and they only ever attack in self-defense. Plus, the only injuries related to humans are generally on the ankles and lower legs, and only because someone accidentally stepped on a stingray buried in the sand. That's what makes the incident with Steve Irwin so much more tragic. When it happened, nobody could really believe it. After wrangling some of the deadliest animals in the world, Steve was killed by something as innocent and harmless as a stingray. But that brings up the point of this sad tale. Stingrays are clearly much more dangerous than we've been giving them credit for. Yes, a stingray does have venom, but it isn't usually deadly. In the case of Steve Irwin, he was actually stabbed directly in the heart, which is why he died. So he either met the only stingray in the world with perfect aim, or stingrays are more diabolical than we could even imagine. Number 2. Hedgehogs Beware the hedgehog. 
The tiny little animal sitting in your child's room in its cage looking cute and innocent could be the death of you. Back in 2019, the CDC, which is the Center for Disease Control, actually had to investigate an outbreak of salmonella poisoning linked to contact with pet hedgehogs. According to the CDC themselves, hedgehogs are able to carry salmonella even if they look healthy and appear clean. Touch your hedgehog, you are unwittingly taking the salmonella bacteria from your pet onto your person. The outbreak investigation ended in October of 2019, but the CDC is still warning people that you can get sick from carrying around your hedgehog. Between August 1st and October 2nd, at least seven people were reported ill because of the outbreak, but there have been no reported deaths. I think I'm going to stick with a safe hamster or gerbil personally. Number 1. Magpie Magpies are arguably the most hated animal in all of Australia. They're a nuisance, they're annoying, and they're more dangerous than they appear. Magpies are naturally aggressive, they will defend their precious nests with all of the power in their beaks and all the strength in their claws. According to a behavioral ecologist at Griffith University, magpies actually cause thousands of injuries every single year. This is because when hikers, cyclists, and leisurely walkers get too close to a magpie nest, the birds will fly down like helicopters from above and try to destroy the person. In fact, magpies that are breeding are the highest achievers in their society. They survived for years, they fought extremely hard to claim a piece of territory, and they've been able to find a partner. This means they are the biggest and baddest of the magpie birds, and it's no surprise that they come swooping at your face when you enter into their domain. While there aren't a whole lot of deaths caused by magpies, they're still a dangerous nuisance and much more menacing than they appear. Number 10. World Wireless Energy There have been a lot of inventions hidden from us over the years. One of the earliest inventions that was completely scrapped and buried was the World Wireless Energy Invention. This was something put forth by the famous Serbian inventor Nikola Tesla. At its core, this system could have allowed for broadcasting wireless energy worldwide for all kinds of different purposes. It also came about in 1893 after Tesla proposed the system to several different scientific societies at the time. And that's not much later than the first light bulbs started going into houses. He basically showed that it wasn't necessary to use wires to transmit electrical energy, and that with his smart invention, electricity could be used all over the world without a single wire. He was experimenting using high frequencies and his unique Tesla coils to power electrical devices. However, his invention never saw the light of day. Even though Tesla had mostly figured out how to use the Earth's atmosphere as an electrical conductor itself, his prototype never got used. JP Morgan had been on board as a financer for the wireless station, and then he dropped out at the last minute. The project was abandoned in 1906, and even though Tesla kept patenting systems associated with world wireless energy, it just kept getting buried over and over again. Even today, the technology is most likely possible, but no one will even touch it. This is likely due to the fact that free energy across the globe would put too many big money companies out of business. It's like if we ever found a substitute for oil. That stuff would be buried so fast it's not even funny. Number 9. The Water Fuel Cell The water fuel cell is a bit of a funny one. It was a technical design for a perpetual motion machine created by an American inventor named Stanley Meyer back in 1940. He claimed that the device he built would allow a person to use water as fuel rather than gasoline. His device could supposedly split water into its two component elements, hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen could then be burned to generate the energy needed to power a vehicle, completely negating the need for gasoline. The only problem with this invention is that it supposedly violated the first and second laws of thermodynamics, and there was actually a lot of people at the time who were not convinced the device was even real. In a news report from Ohio, Meyer used his water fuel cell on a dune buggy, and he claimed the buggy only used 22 gallons of water to travel between Los Angeles and New York. This guy also claimed that he replaced the spark plugs with special injectors that introduced a unique hydrogen and oxygen mixture directly into the engine cylinders. A lot of professionals at the time claimed Meyer was using pseudoscience, and that his device was a total fraud. Then in 1996, Meyer was sued by two investors who were supposedly in business with the inventor himself. His water fuel cell was later examined by three expert witnesses in court, 
who then claimed his invention was not revolutionary at all and was only using conventional electrolysis. The court then found Meyer guilty of fraud, and two years later in 1998, he died suddenly while dining at a restaurant while screaming, they poisoned me. A lot of people to this date believe Meyer's invention really did turn water into fuel, and that there is a gross conspiracy surrounding the device and Meyer's unexpected death. Number 8. The Chronovisor This invention is absolutely out to lunch, but it's one that has been discussed a lot, and if it's real, it would literally turn the world on its head. Now stay with me here as it does get a little wacky. Apparently, sitting in a locked room somewhere in the basement of the Vatican is a mysterious time travel device known as the Chronovisor. Apparently, it has been down there since the early 1960s. A man named Father Francois Brune, who wrote a book about the subject, swears the thing really exists. He claims that he was sailing with Father Pellegrino Ernetti of the Vatican when Father Ernetti began to openly discuss the device. He claimed it allowed anyone to look back and see anything that happened in the past. This device was first mentioned publicly in an article in 1972, and also discussed in Father Brune's book. Most of this is absolutely hearsay, but apparently the device uses three special alloys to work, and it acts as a sort of television that allows the highest members of the Vatican to look back into the events of biblical times. It's even reported that the chronovisor has verified the existence of Jesus Christ and was able to broadcast his crucifixion. This is obviously complete nonsense. It's the equivalent of the church saying dinosaurs never existed but their fossils were placed under the ground by Satan to test our faith. Because of course the church has a miraculous time machine that took pictures of Jesus Christ being crucified. Then again, if it is real, there are some really strange things going on in the world that I'm really not ready to think about yet. Number 7. Tom Ogle and His Carburetor Tom Ogle was a young mechanic from El Paso who apparently invented a very special vapor carburetor that could increase the usefulness of gasoline by at least double. It all started when Tom took a 200-mile round trip inside his 1974 Galaxy with accompanying reporters while using only two gallons of gasoline, according to the original New York Times article from 1978. Tom insisted that he had designed his vehicle to run using gasoline fumes fed directly into the combustion chamber of his engine. This would be a cheap and efficient way to use every last bit of energy inside a tank of gasoline. And by using Tom's vapor fuel system, exhaust emissions would be brought to basically zero, while the distance you could go in a full tank of gas would be double. Suffice it to say, this would have been a massive revolution in how we use gasoline. However, two things stopped the Ogle engine from ever being manufactured on a large scale. The first issue was that running an internal combustion engine on evaporated gas is not very practical, but the real reason is that Tom died mysteriously and suddenly. He had all kinds of investors lined up ready to get the project off the ground, but then he dropped dead at the young age of 26. Apparently, the cause of death was an overdose of alcohol. But what 26-year-old inventor about to be rich overdoses on alcohol? The death was labeled a suicide, and Ogle's invention was swept under the rug for good. Number 6. Palladium Cigarettes The Palladium Cigarette was an invention by the Liggett and Myers Tobacco Company back in the 1950s. These cigarettes were designed to be safer, as that was right around the time that people were realizing how horribly deadly cigarettes are for the human body. The project was nicknamed Project XA, and it involved adding palladium nitrate with tobacco, which actually decreased the total toxicity of the smoke without leaving any residual levels of palladium in the person's bloodstream. Basically, this extra additive worked as a sort of catalyst. It allowed the tobacco to burn more thoroughly, and therefore significantly less tumorogenic substances were inhaled into the lungs than with a traditional cigarette. While this still didn't make cigarettes completely safe, it did make them a whole lot safer. In 1978, the company was fully stocked and ready to start selling their new cigarettes, but they pulled the plug at the last minute allegedly because of threats from other tobacco companies. If one company were selling cigarettes that didn't kill you quite as fast as the rest of the cigarettes on the market, everyone else would have been out of business. Traditional cigarettes would have been seen as unsafe, and palladium cigarettes would have taken the entire marketplace. This is actually pretty sad considering how many people have died from smoking between 1978 and now, especially if there had been an invention designed to decrease the harmful effects of cigarettes. But in the end, money and business do typically trump health and safety. Number 5. Directed Energy Weapons This list would not have been complete without some secret government weapons. 
According to U.S. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper, China and Russia have already weaponized space. And I doubt they're the only ones. These are weapons you've probably never even heard of. While not exactly kept from us in the traditional sense, these types of weapons are definitely not being discussed openly. I'm talking about directed energy weapons, or as I like to call them, laser beams. The deal here is that traditional weapons are on their way out, and laser beams are on their way in. Going back to what the Secretary of Defense said, China and Russia have weaponized space using killer satellites and directed energy weapons designed specifically to destroy ground forces from space. Imagine satellites with enormous laser beams that are basically as powerful as nuclear weapons and can be aimed anywhere at any time, hitting targets with pinpoint accuracy. These types of weapons make traditional aircraft, missiles, and all that stuff completely futile. Laser beams can just shoot missiles out of the sky, they can blow up cities, and they can do all kinds of other nasty things. While none of us civilians know exactly how sophisticated our current laser beams are, chances are that directed energy weapons are already here and already primed for war. Especially considering that in 2019, the Pentagon supposedly invested somewhere around $95.3 billion on space and future warfare technology. This is according to the department's 2019 audit. In all likelihood, we won't know about these energy weapons until someone starts blasting. Number 4. The Cloud Buster The Cloud Buster was first invented by an Austrian scientist named Wilhelm Reich in the early 20th century. At its core, the Cloud Buster is used for manipulating the weather. It's a series of tubes attached to a gun turret, which is then aimed at the sky to either create rain clouds or destroy them. By the way, the way it's supposed to work is kind of mind-blowing. It uses something known as organ energy. It's also known as subtle energy in the atmosphere. The device somehow links the energy in the atmosphere to a grounding material, such as a large body of water. The organ energy is then drawn from the atmosphere, thus creating clouds and rain. The tubes on the device are hollow, and each is connected to a tube, and all the tubes are placed inside the groundwater. It's like a big lightning rod that can tear open clouds so they rain. If you feel confused, you're not the only one. This is all theoretical science. And even though some witnesses claim the device really works, there are apparently none in existence. But what makes the story really strange is that Reich was actually charged with criminal contempt in 1956, convicted and sentenced to two years in federal prison. He died in prison of heart failure. Then, between 1956 and 1960, almost all of his writings and his equipment were seized and then destroyed by FDA officials. Currently, this is considered to be one of the most blatant examples of censorship and suppression in the United States history. Number 3. Starlight Starlight was a material discovered in 1993 by a British amateur inventor who had previously been a hairdresser. This guy actually made one of the most impressive materials on Earth. The invention was first published in a 1993 defense magazine, and it talks all about how the British inventor created a thin coating that was able to withstand temperatures of up to almost 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The substance was so resistant to heat that it would have made tanks, ships, and aircrafts completely impervious to the effects of nuclear weapons even at close range. Starlight was even showcased on BBC television. On the TV program, they showed a chicken egg that had been painted with this special new coating. The coating was so thin that it could not even be seen. The chicken egg was then lit up with an oxyacetylene torch for a few minutes before it was cracked open to reveal that the insides were completely unaffected by the heat. Starlight was the most efficient heat shield ever developed. The hairdresser apparently discovered the substance while messing around with different chemicals in his shop totally by accident. But he never told anyone his secret formula, and nobody has been able to replicate it since. So far as we know, this random hairdresser died with the secret of the most heat-resistant material in the world still locked away in his brain. Number 2. The Heart Attack Gun There is no shortage of CIA conspiracies. Back in the days of the Cold War, it's been claimed that the CIA funded LSD experiments using prostitutes, and that they even had a secret underground ice base in Greenland where they tried to build a flying saucer. One of the more bizarre things the CIA supposedly made was a heart attack gun. They supposedly managed to craft a handgun that was untraceable and killed immediately by causing a heart attack. Of course, it did this using a specially designed poison, but still it was undetectable and the perfect weapon for assassination. 
The dart from the secret assassination gun could supposedly penetrate clothing and then leave nothing but a small red dot on the surface of the skin. Once inside the body, the dart would then disintegrate, and the poison would melt into the target's bloodstream, causing an immediate cardiac episode. However, there are no examples of the gun left, no proof at all. And so far as we civilians are concerned, it's just another CIA rumor. Number 1. The Slute Digital Coding System The Slute Digital Coding System was a data technique that could supposedly store a full movie inside only 8 kilobytes of data. This is significantly more impressive than any means of compression available even today, and the method was developed in 1995. It was apparently invented by a Dutch electronics engineer named Sloot, using a special source code that compressed data into extremely small quantities. For example, even with modern techniques, you would need about 10,000 times more storage than with the Sloot digital coding system. So where did this technology go? Well, on July 11, 1999, Sloot was found dead in his garden of an apparent heart attack. This was exactly one day before he was going to sell his technology for big bucks. Can anyone say heart attack gun? If his invention had gone public, you'd be able to store thousands of movies and music and photos on a single one gigabyte SD card. Imagine the money that cell phone companies would have lost. Number 10, 11 pounds of coins. In March of 2017, surgeons in Bangkok, Thailand spent four hours attempting to save a turtle's life by removing 915 coins from her stomach. Nicknamed Osman or Piggy Bank, the green sea turtle was visited regularly by tourists, who tossed coins at her for good luck and longevity. Despite the good intentions of the well-wishing tourists, the coins ultimately killed Osman. Navy personnel rescued 25-year-old Osman and took her to a veterinarian after noticing that she was not looking so good. The vets were shocked to discover just how many coins she'd eaten. The sheer weight caused her to sink and eventually caused her underside shell to crack, putting her at risk of a fatal infection. After the initial removal of coins from Osman's stomach, she seemed to be recovering well, but she had to go back under the knife when a checkup revealed she was having intestinal issues. Osman never awoke after the two and a half hour surgery. Intestinal obstruction and nickel toxicity were ruled as her official causes of death as a poor turtle. See what they say about good intentions? Number 9. Sharks Without Livers To be fair, this is more about something surprising than was actually discovered missing in a creature. This happened in South Africa when a series of great white sharks came on the shores but were missing their livers, among other things. This was documented in the Western Cape Province, where over the course of a couple of days in March of 2017, a set of four great whites were found dead on the beaches with their livers conspicuously absent. Many were confused by this because great white sharks are apex predators, and few ever mess with them, including us humans. Plus, why only take the livers and leave the rest of the fish? Eventually, the answer was revealed that these sharks had been picked clean by orcas. These whales are known to be rivals of sharks, but aren't documented attacking great whites like this. However, researchers say it's not unprecedented and that the orcas are known to go after the livers of creatures when they hunt and kill. Other parts of the sharks were missing too, including their stomachs at times and even their reproductive organs. How often this happens all over the world is very much a mystery, though it does paint a much different dynamic over who rules the oceans. Of course, if you did find an orca with shark parts in its stomach, that would raise some questions as well. Number 8. Fingers in a Trout this story comes in multiple parts. It starts in 1991, where a man named Robert Lindsay had a horrible injury after trying to save the life of a friend's daughter. In short, they were all boating together when the girl fell into the water. And when that happened, Robert jumped in after her. And while saving her, the propeller of the boat cut off three of his fingers. Thankfully for him, two of the fingers were recovered and he had them sewn back on. The thumb, however, was never recovered. Then, six months after the incident, a fisherman caught a trout while going through his normal daily routine. But when he cut into it, he found, to his horror, a human thumb inside. After hearing about this, Lindsay contacted the local coroner, who was able to confirm the digit did indeed belong to him. By this stage, Lindsay was in pretty good humor about the situation, telling the media, I'll probably just put it on a shelf to show people. I'll probably keep it in a jar. But wait, there's more. In fact, a trout eating a finger is not as uncommon as you might think. In another lake in Idaho, a man lost four fingers in a boating accident, and later on, another trout was caught and again found to have one of his fingers inside. Trouts must kind of think that severed fingers are just worms or something like that. It's gruesome, but it's true. Number 7. The Squid and the Bomb Believe it or not, unexploded bombs from various wars and battles are found all over the world to this day, mainly because there were a lot of bombs used in wars like World War I and World War II, civil wars across the world, and so on and so forth. 
Of course, many of these bombs were dropped in the ocean, but some of them never exploded. So imagine the surprise that one Chinese fisherman had when he caught a three-foot squid to sell to a customer, and when he gutted the squid, he found an unexploded three-pound bomb inside. Fear would have been a very logical reaction for various reasons, not the least of which is that if the fisherman had accidentally hit the bomb with his cutting tool, it could have very easily exploded. After regaining composure, no doubt, the fishermen called the police and they took it away to a safe area to explode, which is referred to as a safe explosion and is standard procedure for things like this. As for when the bomb came from or how the squid got to eat it, that remains unknown. But you have to wonder why it would eat a three pound bomb like this. Squids don't really tend to eat things like this at all, so it's a curious mystery to be sure. Though you have to admit that it would have been just as interesting if someone was filming the squid when the bomb went off, leaving many to wonder why said squid exploded. Have you ever heard of someone finding unexploded bombs in your neighborhood? It happens more often than you might think. Let me know the story in the comments below, then make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, because there are lots of great new videos coming out and you won't want to miss any of them. Number 6. The Cod with the Toy this is a story that is absolutely true, and yes, it's going to be as hilarious as it sounds. You see, a fisherman in Norway was off doing his thing when he caught a cod. However, upon catching said cod, he realized that there was an atypical formation in its stomach. So he reached in and pulled out some typical things like partially eaten food. But then he pulled out something no one would really expect from a cod. An adult toy. No, really, it happened. He speculated the cod may have mistaken the device for its usual preferred prey. He told the local newspaper, fish eat all kinds of different things, and the dildo looks like what the fish would eat. We have a kind of multicolored octopus in Norway, maybe the cod thought this was one of those and ate it. That's certainly one way of getting that toy into a fish's stomach, though the whole incident does raise a final question, how did the toy get into the waters? The likely explanation is that there was a cruise that went through this body of water and someone tossed it overboard. I'm sure they'd get a kick out of finding out that it was taken by a fish. Number 5. Sunfish Eating the News In 1882, zoologist Edward Ramsey collected a massive 10-foot-tall sunfish out of the waters of Sydney Harbour. But the fish was more than met the eye in numerous ways, including how it reached Ramsey. You see, it was spotted outside of the shallows by shippers, but then ran aground suddenly. It was raised up to a wharf by a crane where it was cut open before a foreman stepped in and had it sent to the Australian Museum. After it was collected, gutted, and stuffed by some taxidermists, it was sent to London to be exhibited at the 1883 Great International Fisheries Exhibition before being donated to the London Museum. Fast forward to 2016 and the fish's seams were coming undone, so the taxidermists of the museum decided to open the fish back up and get some patchwork done. When they did, they found floor beams, the seat of a wicker chair, and a fragment from the January 26, 1883 edition of the Sydney Morning Herald. Here's the catch, pun intended. That newspaper mentioned the fish in question in an article. This means that the newspaper got in the fish after it had been stuffed and sent to London. This is kind of a time capsule inside of a fish. Weird. Number 4. Badge Grouper This is the story of fisherman Arnold Constantino who in 2017 made a massive catch by getting a seven foot long grouper fish. It was caught in the Philippines. And due to the size of the fish, it was the biggest one ever caught in that region. Thus, it was really quite a catch. But when the fisherman took it to the market to open it up, he and the butcher were in for a surprise because inside the fish was a golden security badge. Yeah, and given the seven foot size of the grouper, it was speculated that the grouper ate the person whom the badge belonged to. According to Constantino, nobody knows why the badge was inside. It caused some panic. Did it attack somebody or swallow someone missing at sea? We're not sure. Selling the fish was harder when traders thought it might have eaten a human. I had to take a lower price. It's very likely that the badge was just lost in the waters of the world and thus it didn't need to eat anything else. Plus, if it had eaten a human, bones would probably have been found inside the grouper too. Say a little prayer for the fisherman though. This should have been the biggest payday of his fishing life, but instead, he got a killer fish in a lower price, something no fisherman wants to deal with ever. Number 3. A New Species of Ant There's always a bit of awe and wonder when you find something inside of something, mainly because you wonder how did it get there. But in the case of one devil frog, the question was more of where did that come from? because they found a new species of creature in frog vomit. This all happened in Ecuador in 2016. Some researchers were looking to capture some devil frogs to examine some of the chemicals they have inside of them to see how they made various defense abilities. 
To do this, though, they needed to retrieve the frog's vomit. So they stuck it with a tube, and when they examined the vomit, they were shocked. They had discovered a brand new species of ant. Lenomer mex hold doblery, in case anyone asks you. This obviously raised a lot of questions, including why the frog ate this ant, how it had never been discovered before, and more. Granted, there is only so much that can be learned from a single ant, but the discovery itself was very noteworthy. It just proves once and again that we don't always know everything about the world we live in. Number 2. Didn't that ostrich eat? There are many animals in zoos, right? And it's natural that some of them will go and eat things that they shouldn't when they can. Well, in the 1930s, the London Zoo had a problem, as one of their ostriches died in a rather confusing way. So they performed an autopsy on it to see what was inside, and they were in for a shock. The full contents of the ostrich's stomach, according to the zookeepers at the time, included three old cotton gloves, three handkerchiefs, the wooden center of a silk spool, a piece of lead pencil for half pennies, one franc, one farthing, one coin too worn for identification, part of a bicycle valve, part of a metal comb, one piece of wood, two yards of string, an alarm clock key, several small metal washers and other pieces of metal, and a four inch nail. And it was that last item that led to the animal's death by perforation. So for all the garbage that people threw into the ostrich enclosure, a tragic death occurred. Weirdly, there's a good reason why it happened. In the wild, ostriches don't chew their food, they often just swallow it whole. So they often eat small pebbles to sit in their stomach and help break up food that is swallowed whole. These pebbles are called gastroliths, and it aids in their digestion. Thus, the idea of it eating all of these objects was the ostrich's way of dining like it would in the wild, even if it did end up killing the bird in the end. Number 1. The Doe in the Alligator Alligators and crocodiles are vicious predators that are very happy to lash out at all sorts of prey, including prey that's even larger than them. However, in 2015 in Alabama, a 15-foot half-ton alligator was caught in the state's annual gator hunt. And when they cut it open, they found a whole female deer inside. Taxidermist Ken Owens was astonished the gator had taken such a large meal in one gulp. I always thought that once an alligator killed something, it ate it a piece at a time. I can't imagine how it got a hold of that adult deer and ate it in one piece like that. It's kind of unbelievable. Indeed, most times alligators and crocodiles do rip their food so they can go and get digested quicker. But given the size of the gator in question, it apparently didn't feel that need. Number 11. Barrett M82 Made by the legendary Barrett Company, the M82 isn't just a sniper rifle. It's what's known as an anti-material rifle. So what does that mean? It means that the rifle was designed to destroy sensitive enemy equipment, like parked aircraft, radar units, trucks, and various other important assets at long range. It's also used for remote destruction of explosive ordnance. And this may sound a bit odd for a sniper rifle at first, and something that you might just see in a video game instead, but recall for a second that not all combat is about taking out enemy personnel. It's also about limiting their combat abilities, and ensuring that they can't complete their own tasks and missions. However, it should be noted that Barrett M82 is more than capable of going and completing tasks as a true sniper rifle as well. In fact, the various ammunitions it can bear are so powerful, due to it being used to destroy items and machinery, that it can pierce through walls meaning that it can hit enemy targets who may be finding cover behind walls and other barriers. And as if that wasn't enough, the M82 is a semi-automatic sniper rifle, and it has special mechanisms that reduce 70% of the initial recoil of the gun. Number 10. Chaytac M200 Intervention the Chaytac M200 Intervention is known for many things, including being unique amongst its sniper rifle brothers. What it's more known for, though, is having a massive firing range. In fact, it's the longest range sniper rifle in the world today, which is no small feat given the purpose of sniper rifles and the various models that have been made over the years. The Intervention even holds the world record for the tightest three-bullet grouping on a target, which just so happened to be over 2,000 meters away. Given all of this, you might be curious as to why the Chaytac M200 intervention isn't used by everyone all over the world. And that would be because it's special and not exactly in a good way. For starters, only certain special op groups use the intervention. And even they note that while the gun is good for long range strikes, the range it has isn't always necessary. There are other rifles that have shorter ranges but are easier to wield. 
In fact, the intervention is actually rather large, so if the soldier wielding it is expected to hit a target and then move to another location to set up another strike, it can be a little troublesome. And the last thing you need in combat is to be lagging behind because of your monster-sized weapons. Still though, this weapon deserves its praise because it's the perfect long-range weapon when you want to make sure that the enemy doesn't see you and you need to take them out with the first shot. What's your favorite piece of military technology? There have been so many crazy innovations over the thousands of years that humans have fought for power and resources. So let me know your favorite one in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe when you're done. You want to stay up to date with all the latest videos, right? And the best way to do that is to hit subscribe. Number 9. LWRC Saber in combat, the ability to adapt is one of the greatest tools you can have, and that goes double for your weapons. To that end, the LWRC Sabre is without a doubt one of the most amazing and deadly sniper rifles out there. Why? Well, because this gun comes outfitted with the ability to switch out barrels depending on what scale of combat you're in, and that's a very useful feature in the ever-shifting realm of combat. If you have a short-range situation, the gun has a 12-inch barrel, which will allow you to focus your shots on the nearby targets and shoot them down. Or if you're in need of hitting a target that's much further away, a 20-inch barrel is also there for you. It allows you to be a true sniper and make sure that they never see the flash from your gun. And because it is a sniper rifle, the gun has good accuracy no matter what state it's in. Add to that a scope and the sniper's skill, and it's one sniper rifle that is perfect for nearly anything combat throws at its user. In fact, S-A-B-R, Sabre, means sniper and battle rifle. So the versatility is literally in its name. Number 8. L115A3 AWM A more recent creation, the L115A3 AWM, is known for once having the world record for the longest sniper kill. During a fight with the Taliban, this gun took out two gunners who were over 2,700 yards away, back to back. A truly impressive feat for both the shooter and the gun. This sniper rifle is revered for its accuracy, as well as its reliability in intense situations and climates. Ironically, the AWM in the name means Arctic Warfare Magnum, so they built this thing to survive the elements, and they succeeded in every way. As this sniper rifle was only built recently, it's only been used in Iraq and Afghanistan during its run, but many in the military feel that this gun could go a long way and might be around for quite some time. Given its ability to survive various elements, that could mean it's going to be used in various terrains should the need arise. Number 7. Stealth Recon Scout Not unlike certain other sniper rifles, the Stealth Recon Scout has two barrels it can use, yet this one goes further by letting the gun use two different kinds of ammo. For short range, it uses .308 rounds, and then for long range, it goes to the .338 rounds. But that's just the beginning of what it can do. You see, sniper rifles can be hard to use because of their size. But the Stealth Recon Scout allows the user to shorten the size of the gun to their liking. They do this by removing the mounts the gun was built into and letting the user move the feeding mechanism behind the trigger. This makes it shorter and more manageable to some. And of course, the gun is very accurate no matter which barrel is in it or in what formation the user is wielding it in. This kind of versatility is a godsend to those in the battlefield. Number 6. The L42 Enfield A classic rifle that has been improved upon for over a century is the L42 Enfield rifle, proving that some things just get better with age. The first versions of these legendary sniper rifles were made in 1890 and were given to the Royal Forces of Great Britain. Since then, the gun has been upgraded, modified, and whatever else it needs to be so it can still be in use. In the 1970s, the L42A1 was made, and it went on for two decades until it was decommissioned. Fast forward to today, and there are still Enfields being used. Different variations, of course, but all very reliable, all very accurate, and all beloved by the people who use them. It just goes to show that sometimes the classics really don't go out of style. Number 5. AS50 UK the AS-50 UK was designed to be light, efficient, and accurate. The British developed it and wanted a sniper rifle that would have the firing ability that semi-automatic rifles had, yet also have the ability to shoot as accurately as bolt-action rifles. This gun was the result of both of those wants. A big perk about this gun is that it's incredibly lightweight. Add to that, the gun does not take much to maintain. This makes it incredibly reliable. Ironically, it was made in 2007, but it's clearly got staying power. 
Not to mention it has a range of 1,600 yards, more than enough range to keep the shooter safe while also hitting the target. Number 4. PSG-1 Necessity is said to be the mother of invention, and it was a necessity that led the Germans to make the PSG-1, one of the best sniper rifles ever made. 1972 was one of the worst years in German history, as the Munich Olympics experienced a massacre on their soil. One of the reasons the massacre happened was because German forces couldn't take out the terrorists in the hotel before the hostages were killed. Not wanting to have that happen again, the PSG-1 was commissioned. This gun was built to be accurate from incredibly long distances, including being able to hit targets over 3,000 feet away, as well as having a large magazine that would ensure that all targets would be taken out as quickly as possible. The gun was given to the Germans' anti-terrorism unit, the GSG-9, as well as all other law enforcement units, and it served them well since its birth. Number 3. Dragunov the Russian army has been using the Dragunov sniper rifle since 1963, and many still consider it to this day one of the greatest and deadliest sniper rifles ever built. This is shocking given the advancements in the field of sniper rifle creation, and yet this one still endures. It's been used in wars all over the world, and is still one of the most ordered sniper rifles in the world. So what is it that makes it stand out? Well, aside from its accuracy, it's reliable. It's just known for not jamming, even in some of the most deadly circumstances. And because of that, people will use it in forests, deserts, the ocean, and more. There is beauty and dependability, and that's why the Dragunov sticks around despite heavy competition. Number 2. SAKO TRG-42 the SAKO TRG-42 comes from an unlikely source, the Finnish. Yes, really, and they really did well with this particular rifle. It's an improvement over previous rifles that they'd made, and the SAKO TRG-42 has been stated to be as good as certain other sniper rifles like the British Accuracy International Arctic Warfare Magnum and the Swiss Brugger Thomet APR-308 and APR-338. In fact, the SAKO TRG-42 is so good that it's being used by 14 different countries in the world today, and it's known for its ability to carry more powerful cartridges as well as being very versatile in its composition and layout. This means the shooter can fill out or break down the rifle to suit their own lengths and needs, including putting a wealth of scopes and other measures onto their rifle to be more accurate and more deadly. Number 1. Macmillan TAC-50 the Macmillan TAC-50 definitely qualifies as one of, if not the, most powerful and deadly sniper rifle in the world today. First and foremost, it's not a sniper rifle. It's also labeled as an anti-material weapon. How so? Well, between its design and ammunition, it can be used to reliably destroy equipment in the enemy camp. Now, yes, a bullet of virtually any kind can damage equipment, but this gun was made to do it effectively. Adding to its coolness and effectiveness, not only is it an effective sniper rifle, its 50 BMG caliber round is so powerful that it can penetrate walls and stone structures that enemy units may be hiding behind. More so though, this gun is respected. It's used by forces in Canada, France, Georgia, Israel, Jordan, Philippines, South Africa, Turkey, and the United States. If all of that is not enough to convince you that the Macmillan TAC-50 deserves to be on top, think about this. It holds the world record for the longest confirmed kill. The previous record was 2,700 yards. Well, a Canadian sniper used the TAC-50 to hit a target at over 3,500 meters, firmly cementing itself as the top gun of snipers. Now, it's true that a gun could come around and try to beat it, but that would be quite a task, and it would need to step up in various ways to beat what this rifle has to offer. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these sniper rifles of the world and how deadly they can be? Do you know people who have fired some of these rifles? Definitely let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on World List.